and I'm the manager of the cardiovascular lab at Northeast Georgia Medical Center. I basically oversee uh, heart failure support, stress testing, echo in vascular lab, as well as a 24-7 EKG department. I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio, and uh, lived there for the first 21 years of my life. I attended Good Samaritan School of Nursing. We moved to Atlanta, Georgia in October of 1985, and we've been here ever since. I've got a husband that I've been married to for 27 years, and I've got two boys. One of the reasons I went into nursing was just to help people, and it, it definitely isn't about rec recognition. There's so many people that I work with every single day that do the same thing that I do, and so I don't feel any different than anybody else, but I feel very honored that uh, I was recognized. There are several people that have really made a big impact on me in most recently in my life, and I would probably have to say Dr. Jim Toth. Um, he's the one that we've uh, had got me involved with our Haiti efforts. Dr. Toth actually got up in front of our church asking for volunteers to um, come down and help with a one-week medical mission that they were holding, and that's how it got started. I went down with a plane full of people I didn't know, and. Uh, um, fell in love with it from the minute I got there and we now have a full clinic that we um, built from the ground up and I actually help manage the, the clinic down there. The February mission is our big mission and um, we actually had to delay that mission this year because of the earthquake. So, you know, it's kind of a kind of a hopeless feeling to you know know that you want to go and help and not have a way to get down there. Dr. Toth, who feels just as much the passion to go down there, so he and I just decided that we would just get on a plane to Santa Domingo and figure it out once we got there. Within a 24-hour period, we had 400 pounds of supplies packed and ready to go down. We made it in Port-au-Prince, and the patients that we saw when we were down there um, had not had any care at all. It, since the initial treatment five days earlier. It's probably the most um, difficult thing I've ever done, but the most rewarding too, because I really feel like we made a difference in their lives. has been heavily involved with a medical mission in Haiti since February 2001. This group built a clinic that is staffed five days a week with a doctor and a nurse. They raised the money to pay the staff, purchase medicines and supplies. Barbara performs administrative duties such as hiring staff and coordinating the day-to-day -day work clinic from Georgia. By the fifth day after the earthquake in Haiti, Barbara was on a plane headed there with one of our group's physicians. She is a caring, competent, and capable bedside nurse. Please join me in congratulating her. Our fourth honoree this afternoon is Sonia Smith from Piedmont Mountainside Hospital. 